In this video we're going to automate the production of satchel charges. This is going to be quite a long video so I've broken it down into several stages which should be a lot easier to follow. I assume you're going to have some storage in your base. To move things around we're going to start off with the industrial combiner, a storage adapter and an industrial splitter. We're going to place the combiner on the floor. I'm going to turn it around because I think it makes more sense in this direction. Put the storage adapter on the box and we're going to place the splitter on the other side once again turning it around. At this stage you can combine these items so going from the combiner into the box and from the box into the splitter. We're also going to need some power so to achieve this we're going to use a solar panel, a small battery and two electrical branches. As always place the solar panel somewhere where it will get plenty of sunlight. We're going to put the battery on the floor down here for ease of access with the electrical branches just above it. Connect the solar panel to your battery. And connect your battery to the first of your electrical branches. Also, let's just connect these two up. Before we forget, we might as well configure these. So we're going to set each of these to three. The next stage is to create charcoal. To do that we're going to use three furnaces, although you can use more if you want. We're going to need an igniter, a timer, three storage adapters and two conveyors. I'm going to place the furnaces against the wall here. And then place the igniter and the timer above them. Place the storage adapters on each of the furnaces and put the conveyors on the floor. This is more for ease of showing you what's going on. You can place these wherever you need. Connect up all the industrial items. So from the first conveyor into your furnace, connect all the furnaces up and then from the last furnace into the second conveyor. We're also going to need to set up power. So from your first electrical branch, take power into the first of your conveyors and then using the pass-through connect to the second and then once again use the pass-through and send the rest of the power into the timer. From the power out on the timer connect to the power in on the igniter. Lastly from the filter pass on the first conveyor connect to the toggle on on the timer. Now we can connect the conveyors to your storage. Connect to the first conveyor to your splitter and connect your second conveyor 
to the combiner. Next, we can configure our conveyors. So in here, we're going to need to filter wood. And we're going to set this to 10. And we're also going to need some ore. So metal ore, set that to 10. And sulfur. And once again, set that to 10. For filter mode, just leave that on any item and hit apply. Now we can turn these on. With the conveyors configured, the final step is to set the duration on the timer. So we simply set this to 0.25 as that's the shortest amount of time that you can set on a timer. And that's the furnace is done. So now we can turn our attention to the creation of gunpowder and bean can grenades. To do this we're going to need one tier 1 workbench, two conveyors and an industrial crafter. Place the workbench against the wall and the conveyors on the floor like before and then just place the industrial crafter on the workbench. Connect your first conveyor to the industrial crafter and then connect the industrial crafter to the second conveyor. And once again, connect the first conveyor to the splitter and your second conveyor to the combiner. For configuration, on the first conveyor, we're going to need to have charcoal and set this to 30 and sulphur, setting this to 20. But we also need gunpowder, setting this to 60 and metal fragments setting this to 20. Leave this on any item and hit apply. In terms of power connect the second electrical branch to the first conveyor And same as before, use the pass-through to power the second one and then the second pass-through will power the industrial crafter. For convenience, connect the filter pass to the turn-on on the industrial crafter. And once again, turn on the conveyors. The next step, we're going to need some blueprints. Specifically a bean can and gunpowder. So this is a default blueprint, but if you read this message here, this blueprint can be used in an in an industrial crafter. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Open up the industrial crafter and put the blueprints in the blueprint section. Next we're going to be creating small stashes and the actual satchel charges. Set your workbench, conveyors and industrial crafter up exactly as you did in the last step.
Take power from the last remaining connection on your electrical branches. In terms of configuration, we need to search for rope and set this to one. We need bean we need bean can grenades. Set this to four. We need small stash. Set this to one and we need cloth and set this to 10 once again leave this on any item hit apply and we're also going to need some blueprints in this crafter and we're going to need a small stash and the satchel charge so once again research these place those in the crafter. Turn on your conveyors and that should be everything set. To test everything works I've got a box of materials here. And I just need to transfer them into this box. And immediately we see the furnace coming on and we can hear something being crafted. There's our first bean can grenade. And that's the first satchel charge. This will continue doing its thing for quite some time, so I'm not going to sit here and record it. There are a few unknowns about this. I don't know if you swapped out the tier one workbenches with tier two or tier three, if that would speed the process up. Um, I could explore that, but I haven't. And I don't know how much of a bottleneck the three furnaces are. Charcoal seems to filter through quite slowly, but it is what it is. Um, this entire setup does fit inside a one by one with a triangle airlock so essentially it looks like a starter base that does also mean that if you wanted to build this and put it in your honeycombing uh, you could do anyway if you've got any other questions about this uh, video please feel free to ask down in the comment section otherwise uh, if this is helpful to you then please feel free to leave a like Otherwise, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.